Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome to another installment of our special segment, and we call this ridiculous website ideas. I'm with Guy Sebastian. I mean Bram Spencer again uh, for another installment, right? And uh, this guy is known for uh, imitating Guy Sebastian all the time on Instagram. So check him out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so, you, Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Bram, tell me, what have you got for us today? Well, in the last segment, I said. There are so many ridiculous website ideas that we come across. Yep. And uh, today's not going to disappoint. Uh, one of the things we see a lot in websites, mm -hmm. um, even client websites, believe mm -hmm. it or not, when mm -hmm. we start to do work with them, is they talk more about themselves yep. and do not focus enough on their potential customer yeah. they're trying to reach. So what you're saying is clients, well, or a lot of businesses actually see their website as a bit of a badge of honor, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, it's like they're bragging rights, right? Yeah. And they spend majority of the website um, on the business itself. Yeah, right. and look, we love our clients, mm. but even some of them have come to us initially and have said, where in, the, in, where in our website do we talk about how special we are mm. and uh, what we're about? Mm. Where's the About Us page going? Yeah, yep, that's Where right. do we feature that? Yeah, and my personal favorite, where's the wire section, right? <laughs> you know, yeah. I, that's my I absolutely hate why us, right? I mean, it's, it's almost like you're so insecure about your products and services yeah. and what you have to, you know, what you have to offer to your customers and then you have to justify how great we are and or why you should do business with us, right? Mm. Is I don't love it. Talking about the badge of honor, mm. um, I see a lot of websites as well where all their images are just pictures of their office, uh, their team, mm. the director, yeah. right up the top. Yeah. Um, that's just going too far into talking about yeah. how special we are yeah. rather than focusing on, you know, yeah. uh, your, your potential customer that you're yeah. trying to reach. Absolutely. If you're watching, chances are you're in our ecosystem for a little bit and you've watched uh, many of our content. And one of the most important things that we talk about is you want to position your customers as the hero and you want to play the guide, right? So mm. your customers play Luke Skywalker and you get to become Obi-Wan Kenobi. So the mm. thing is, there's still a place for you to talk about uh, the values and the the solutions that you offer to your customers, mm. uh, there's still a place for it. And 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 frankly speaking, I I'm still a fan of the about us page, yep. but not in a way that is um, bragging about yourself. And or since 1956, my grandfather started the business, and he's a picture of our team, and mm. he's the all the awards that we've we've won. Right? Yep. Um, we want to position the about us page or um, the the different sections talking about your business as how you can guide your hero, that's your customers towards a successful end, mm. correct? I think people at the end of the day, they want to know who they're doing business yes, with. You know, absolutely. they want to know that you're, you know, there's there's a human level to it. Mm. But we often advise our clients, you know, create your About Us page, mm. but chuck it in the junk drawer, mm. all the way down the bottom of the website. Yep. If people want to see it, yeah. they'll scroll down there and they'll yeah. have a look at it. Absolutely. And one of the things that we talk about also in messaging and copywriting is you, you, we've got to paint a picture of success. Mm. And sometimes we also paint a, paint a picture of what the problems are yeah. pre um, doing business with you guys. What are some of the failures that you would have uh, mm. if you don't do business with me, right? Yeah. So from a website design perspective, Graham, uh, what are some of the imagery that people can use or how do you go about laying out those things? Like you said, I think we want to create this picture of success when, mm. when, when, you, uh, when you look at uh, the website. So when potential customer looks at the website, um, I think they want to see imagery of what they're going to experience yeah. when they engage your services yeah. or when they buy your products. Yeah. You know, if your business is, uh, you know, helping people style their homes, mm. uh, I think a good image up the top would be someone in their lounge room enjoying yes. beautiful furniture, Absolutely. kicking back, watching TV. Yeah, that's um, right. Something like that. Or if, if you're a family lawyer, yeah. you know, someone walking out of court, um, really happy, yep. you know, throwing Probably. papers in the air or, or something. Absolutely. Very specific like that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's like the perfect shot to get, right? Like when yep. it comes to creating that imagery, because most of the time, like going back to the interior design example, right? Mm. Um, people would just feature an empty home with beautiful furnishing, which is not bad. I mean, it's better than a picture of your team. Yep. But the thing is that like the, I think the golden nugget really is to find a way to um, visually paint the picture of what it's like to actually use your service and what is like to, what is the end result of uh, using your products and services, right? Yeah. So, so perfect example, right? Someone in the lounge room enjoying their family life, that would be the perfect picture for an interior designer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
I don't want to throw a particular company under the bus here, but you know, one example that I, I know you are very aware of yeah. is uh, one particular company that prints beautiful magazines. Yep. And their website has a, a rotating video of their big press machines yes. printing magazines. Yep. And their work is exceptional. Yep. The magazines are beautiful. Yep. And it's a beautiful website as well. It is a beautiful website. Yeah, yeah. But I personally don't think companies that want to get magazines yeah. printed for themselves are going to care about big press machines Absolutely. working 24-7. Well, that's yeah, that's a perfect example of companies wants to show how big they are yeah. and show uh, how big the infrastructure is and yeah. how potent my business is, right? Yeah. Um, but but you're absolutely right, right? You know, if I want to get my magazines printed, show me beautiful magazines, mm. right? And don't show me the machinery, uh, or even better, show me the results of having beautiful magazines, right? Mm. Why do I want to print magazines? Because I want to I want to attract more business. I want more I want more customers, right? Mm. So I mean, I'm just thinking out loud here. Like the perfect imagery for that particular company could be a potential customer looking at the beautiful magazines and wanting to buy from them. Yeah. Right? 100%. Now, I mean, how you execute that shot, that's the million dollar question, but yep. that's the that's the concept that we're trying to go for here. Yeah. Right? Yep. At the start, I said that um, a lot of businesses and companies talk about more about themselves mm. and less about their potential customers. And uh, one of the things we often uh, refer to that as, um, there's a way to stamp your authority mm. and it's almost like putting salt in a recipe. Absolutely. Um, you know, you, you put too much yep. and you can ruin the dish. Yep. Uh, if you don't put enough at all, yep. it's bland. That's right. But exactly. if you put the perfect amount yep. of empathy and authority in a yep. very balanced way, yep. um, that's really going to flourish yeah. the dish and obviously flourish your business yeah, as well. Absolutely. So guys, don't get, get us wrong. Uh, there's definitely a place for you to uh, feature your business and mm. maybe your team and your building, you do a bit of an introduction, but always come in from an empathy angle, yep. right? Uh, you want to really articulate, we are here to serve you because we understand your problem, yep. right? We're yep. Instead of the authority way, which is we're here to serve you, we're here to do business with you, give us money because we're really good at what we're doing, right? Yep. So there's a fine line between that because people coming, especially for professional services or you know really high quality products, people coming onto your website assuming you've got what it takes to solve the problem already. Yeah, they already assume you're really good. Yeah, right. So we don't really have to waste words or waste real estate on your website. Yeah, to to double down on that to keep bragging about that, right? Yeah. But rather, Absolutely. if you come from the other angle and say, we're here, we're very, very empathetic to your problem and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Yeah. I think that's that's where the golden nugget is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's today's ridiculous website idea. Um, we're gonna leave you with one exercise. Um, if you look at your website, I want you to get a blue pen and a red pen. Mm. You use the blue pen to circle every area of your website where you talk about your customers. Mm -hmm. And you use the red pen to circle every time you talk about yourself. And that will give you a visual representation of whether you talk more about yourself in mm -hmm. your in your website or whether you talk more about your customers' problems. Yep. And you should be seeing a lot more blue than the red. That's right. But I can guarantee you 95% of the websites that we see out there has way more red than blue. Sometimes no blue at all. Yeah, absolutely. It's true. There you have it guys, ridiculous website ideas. Uh, number two, never, ever, ever go into wireless mode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.